So what you want to do is simply check for every frame where the character moves. So this frame, um, the scene does move, but the character doesn't. And this frame, it does. So you want to select all of those. Now, what we're going to do is cut all the moving parts. With page up and page down, you can move forward or backwards. So each frame that moves, I'm going to cut the clip like this. And once you've kind of done all of that, then make sure to select all of the cuts from bottom to the top. Then, uh, yeah, do it, uh, do it like this and then right click and go to keyframe assistant sequence layers, make sure overlap is turned off, click okay. And now uh, we have done that. Now every single frame moves in this case, and that's what we want, of course. Then um, simply once again, select everything from the bottom to the top and pre-compose it. Press Ctrl, Shift and C, then make sure this is turned on right there. Click OK. We now have our clip. Then you want to add your Twixter. So you can go ahead and copy all of these settings if you want to. And once you have done that, you want to once again, pre-compose it with Control, Shift, and C, like this. Open up the timer map, like so, and then simply just extend it as long as you want. So make sure, by the way, to put the keyframe one after the clip ends, one frame after the clip ends. Press both uh, or select both keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease it. Open up the graph editor and just graph. It's something like this, maybe. And then once you're done pre-rendering your clip, it will look like this. Super clean. So that is basically it. I hope this quick video helped you out. Please leave a like and let me know in the comments if it worked. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.